Turning now to the road to reopening, it is the combination of two popular pro and open restaurants. The city announcing the locations across the five boroughs for expanded outdoor dining. It is the latest effort to help the struggling restaurant industry. Eyewitness News reporter Derek Waller joins us live from Arthur Avenue in the Bronx with the details. They call it the real Little Italy, Derek. That's right, Ken. Yes, yeah, so many great restaurants right here on this row. And so this starting this weekend, many of them may be able to actually go out into the street. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So we're standing in front of Luna Cafe here. You see they already have a significant outdoor dining presence. They've got tables in the street. But now they're going to make basically what they're calling a piazza. They're going to close Arthur Avenue and have tables from one end of the street to the other end as well. We can show you some other video as well. All summer, the city's been closing down streets on nights and weekends to give pedestrians and bicyclists some room to move. And now they're letting restaurants use that space as well. Three or more restaurants on a single block can join together for extended outdoor dining Friday nights through the weekend on closed streets. The mayor says other obvious locations include Fifth Avenue and Park Slope and Mulberry Street in Little Italy. Taking a tough situation, turning it into something good. We're going to do it all over the five boroughs. We're going to work with business improvement districts and local alliances and associations that have been key partners in the open streets. So we're very excited. It's going to open up a world of possibilities and get a lot of people back to their jobs. And we want to help working people. This is going to help a lot. Yeah, but some restaurants say the DOT is not helping after and they're complaining that the DOT actually changed the rules to the last minute. They now require an 18 inch wide barricade between diners and car traffic, along with other regulations like handicap ramps and reflective markers. Some of those rules were only put in place recently and back here live. You can see, uh, you know, this is a setup that's been here for a few weeks now, and so they may actually have to make some changes. You see there are no reflective uh, markers on uh, this outdoor dining setup here. So that's one concern. This is costing restaurants a lot of money. And obviously right now it's money many of these businesses just do not have.